Hey guys, how's it going? It's Steve. Um, I just want to go about, uh, this is more of an update to like some of my old videos. I'll show you how to do some things. Uh, one of the most common questions I get is how do I go about making like these endpoints right here? You know, these sharp points. Uh, I did a video on it uh, a while back ago. Uh, the quality wasn't that great, I don't think. But uh, I'm just going to show you guys how you go about doing that. First thing you want to do is actually have no stroke but you want to have your fill in. So I'm going to make the fill black and knock out the stroke. And it's pretty simple. All you do is take the pen tool, click, and just keep going back and forth. Now you can do this with a brush and I'll show you how to do that as well. I personally don't prefer the brush because you don't have control over you know, uh, how the brush is going to be in the end. Because more than likely, when you use a brush, especially for uh, long strokes, it's going to be uh, wavy. But to do a brush, the way I normally do it uh, with my artwork is normally if I'm running with a, a two point stroke for all my line work, I'll make a brush that actually goes uh, for two points. Make a... So I have my I have shortcuts set up on my computer for, I mean, really simple ones. Uh, the first one I have is Control E, and that pretty much will always expand. It's the expand option, so I can easily expand strokes and uh, modify them if needed be. But for this right here, I uh, expanded the stroke here, and we're going to take the end point here, put it in the center, and this one over in the center. Now make sure you have your uh, brush palette open. Drag that over. Also, this is a CC that I'm working with right now. So we select this uh, triangle right here and just drag it and drop it in. Make an art brush. Okay. I leave pretty much everything the way it's supposed to be. I mean, default wise. And click the B button for the brush. Oh, give me one second. And that's it right there. But the problem is, um, see if I go long ways, it's it's going to be wavy. That's why I prefer using the pen tool. But then again, you can always hold down shift too and make it straight as well. But I find working with the pen tool to be a lot faster. But I mean, all of this was was a quick tip on how to go about making the you know sharp endpoints and uh, a quick brush for this way as well. I mean it works in every way too because I actually do this a lot for a lot of the eyes for my characters. Copy and paste that in front, drag it over, Hold the intersect, and make that round. I mean. For this right here, it's the same concept. Always have the fill and just it, doing it this way with brushes would be a lot harder because it's you're going to have like you know the, it's not going to be straight. I prefer everything being straight for the most part, unless I'm doing curved work like this. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thanks for your continued support. For stick with the channel. If you're new, be sure to hit the sub button. Appreciate it. Have a good one.